Hey everybody, it's Marquita. Today I'm gonna show you how to turn your favorite dress into lingerie. Starting off, you're gonna need some form of big paper. I like to use the roll of crafting paper from the milling department and Walmart. This is my favorite dress I got from Old Navy about 15 years ago. I love this dress and I can't let it go. So you're gonna start off by tracing around the seams of the skirt bottom. I'm using a pen for tracing and I'm just poking it through the elastic so I can see where my tracing needs to be. I'm adding three inches and a quarter on each side of my skirt to make room for seam allowance and gathering. So by the time you're finished, it may look like a long rectangle. I'm gonna label my pattern to differentiate the difference between the top and the bottom because they'll be handled different. And then I'm gonna go ahead and cut out my bottom skirt. Next, we're gonna fold the dress in half and trace the back vest. The back vest is just one piece, so I mark that it is the back piece and then we're gonna cut on the fold. Now I'm gonna add my half inch seam allowance. The fabric have hearts and I want the hearts to go in the same direction, so I'm gonna mark a grain line to make sure I have the hearts going in the same direction. For the front top vest, the left and the right side are the same exact size, so I'm going to just trace it one time and then cut out two. After I'm done tracing and cutting my pattern, I'm going to iron them flat, and then you will get patterns that look like so. Here are all your pieces. For the green dress that I used to make the pattern from, the fabric is actually a green jersey net, but now I'm going to use this Valentine's Day heart themed lace. Now it doesn't stretch as much as the jersey net, but it does have a good stretch to it. But we're gonna add in um, extra inches just so it'll come out perfect. Don't forget to cut on a fold for the back vest. That way you'll have one piece for the left and the right side of the vest. For the front vest, you wanna cut one side down for the left side and then for the other, you wanna cut it face up for the right side because they're both the same size for each side. So here are our top vest pieces and our skirt pieces. Next, we're gonna work on sewing them all together. I'm gonna sew the seam allowance at the neck and then the front of the vest to finish my raw edges. Now this process can work for any outfit or any dress that you have. As long as it's the same stretch and the same kind of fabric, you can pretty much duplicate a lot of things. This is what your vest should look like after you put the front and back pieces together and sew the raw edges. It's time to sew on elastic, so cut your elastic three inches, then your measurements for your waist and your top sleeves. Before you sew on your elastic, be sure to gather the hem of your sleeve and also your waist. I'm using a zigzag stitch for my elastic to make sure my finished seam is strong.
Yay, it's finally time to put the top vest and the skirt together. So after we do that, then we're gonna hem the skirt and then we're gonna finish off the raw edges for the seam allowances on the shoulders and also the arms. I'm super excited because we're almost there. I'm adding neon rose lace to accentuate the waist and to also make it look more pretty than it already is. I love it. We're almost there. <laughs> Lastly, I'm cutting two strips of fabric to make those really pretty bows that you see on the sleeve of the picture. After placing on the bows, here is a final look at my work. I love this project. I'm ready to make more duplicates. I love duplicating. It makes it so much easier. I used boob tape for the first time it got caught in my hair and then it fell down so that's why I looked that way. I love this gown. I think it looks so romantic. I love the bows. I love the hearts. I cut paper hearts out and just taped them on with boob tape for the gown. If I were really actually going to wear this I would go with sheer stockings with maybe glitter or I just wouldn't do stockings at all. Maybe just high heels. I really love this project and I can't wait to duplicate more. Well, If you enjoyed this video don't forget to thumbs up. And let me know in the comment section if you want more of these videos. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all so much. I'll see you in the next one.